What's going on, everyone? So yesterday, the Los Angeles Lakers had quite the day. Uh, basically, they solved every issue except for the center position. They got multiple perimeter defenders, multiple wing-type players, and Torian Prince, a guy 6'7", guard basically 2 through 4, a uh, guy that can play 2 through 4, a uh, guy that is a legit 3 and D sizable wing, top of that they got cam reddish who i am super high on i've wanted cam reddish on the lakers for several years now uh, and i've really been kind of campaigning for cam reddish to come to lakers again six eight size uh could play basically three through five even the small ball center he's got like a seven foot seven one wingspan a guy that uh i really just think in the right situation who hasn't really had a fair opportunity could really shine. I'm hoping the Lakers is that situation. This is a guy that was a top 10 pick, uh, and the Lakers got him for a vet minimum, right? So there's a lot of promise, a lot of hope with Cam Reddish. And then Gabe Vincent, he is our Dennis Schroeder replacement, guy that can play both sides of the ball, guy that I believe will be a lot more consistent than Dennis Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder had his moments where he was just kind of brilliant at times for the Lakers, but in general, uh, he just was a liability at times, right? Gabe Vincent's a little bigger, a little stronger. Uh, I just feel we'll kind of round it out more. But again, Lakers really needed a center. They basically have everything locked up. Uh, you have Vincent, you have Austin Reeves, you have uh, Shafino, and you have D'Angelo Russell. Very likely, I, I do expect the Lakers to re-sign D'Angelo Russell, but there you go. There's your guard play right there. And then on the perimeter, you got Jared Vanderbilt, Torian Prince, uh, Cam Reddish, LeBron James. Boom. Beautiful. Basically everything except for the center position. But the Lakers ended up signing a young, quality, productive, with potential upside style center. Jackson Hayes from the New Orleans Pelicans is officially a Los Angeles Laker. Uh, Jackson Hayes has agreed to a two-year contract with the Los Angeles Lakers in free agency. Now, when the Pelicans declined his $7.7 million uh, offer, that was a little surprising, right? I mean, a lot of people were like, wow, 23-year-old center, a guy that can you know block shots, rebound, defend, do a little bit of everything, has a ton of upside. Again, he's 23 years old. He's a kid, right? This is a guy that who has had some real flashes of brilliance and a guy that looked like, oh, wait a minute, like this could be one of the top centers in the league at some point. Uh, and I guess for whatever reason, uh, the New Orleans Pelicans decided like, hey, we're going to move off of him. Um, now, there was some off the court issues and stuff like that. Not really going to get too much into that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead, look it up. But look, Jackson Hayes at a vet minimum price. Come on. This is an absolute home run for the Lakers. 23 years old, a guy that can start, a guy that can come off the bench, a guy that can play alongside Anthony Davis, guy that just can really be a quality, productive style player for the Lakers. Um, again, he's not really going to stand out too crazy. This is a guy that averaged basically five points and three rebounds in 13 minutes per game last season, but he did shoot 55% from the field. And uh, this guy was just lights out. Uh, he he was averaging like 60% from the field overall the first uh, couple seasons he was playing in the league. This guy, I, I just, I, I, we talked about this. I talked about it in a live stream, talked about it in videos. Like, hey, if the Lakers can convince Jackson Hayes to come in and be a um, kind of like the the Malik Monk, Lonnie Walker, like, hey, you're the reclamation project. You're the guy that, like, you you kind of have the stigma. You kind of have this image. You you kind of been undervalued. Come to Lakers, and if you play half decent, you're gonna get a contract. You're going to be a guy that teams look at. It's It's been proven time and time again. And I've talked about this several times. Not Jackson Hayes, but the idea of like, I just don't see the Lakers ever having issues 
signing young quality players. I just, I don't. Because there's always going to be that guy who is undervalued, that's actually really good, that's going to come to Lakers and bet on himself and take a vet minimum discount and try to make a name for himself. The Lakers' spotlight is extremely bright. Extremely bright. And you've seen it now for, what, three straight years? Three straight years. The Lakers have gotten very young, very quality-type players that have made an impact every time. Lonnie Walker made an impact with the Lakers this year. Uh, you saw Malik Monk make a huge impact with the Lakers this year, or two years ago. Jackson Hayes, I absolutely believe, will make an impact for the Lakers this year. This guy was a legit, solid player. This is a guy that, on most young teams, would be the starting center. He's going to be our backup, right? But he's going to have real opportunity. I mean... Anthony Davis is going to miss at least 30-plus games this year. At least. And he's a guy that can come in and provide a starting rotation level type role. Now, I would, if I'm being honest, I would still kind of lean towards a veteran-style guy like a Mason Plumley, just for the Jokic matchups. But look, Jackson Hayes... I think is a great fit. I do. I think he is, he gives the Lakers exactly what they need. A lob threat, uh, a shot blocking big, a guy that can be a high energy, high motor. He can run the floor. He can, he can do basically everything the Lakers need him to do. I, I, I think that this is a quality level pickup for the Lakers. This was what we had hoped. Again, I talked about, can we get a Mason Plumley? Can we get a Jackson Hayes? And this was almost foreseeable. Kind of like how the Tory and Prince theme played out. It's kind of how I feel about this. Right? Like when Tory and Prince just out of left field ended up being a free agent, it was like, man, the Lakers, I could see signing him. He makes a lot of sense. Same thing with Jackson Hayes. Like when Jackson Hayes and the Pelicans like had their breakup, it was like, oh, wait a minute. Like, Jackson Hayes would be great, right? Jackson Hayes would be brilliant for the Lakers. And this is a guy that, again, can block shots, can rebound, can defend. Um, and basically, so like if you look at his per 32 stats, this guy is basically an 18 and 10 guy or 18 and 8 guy. That's that's what he is. If you look at his per 32s, Um. He's going to be a little bit of a project. Don't get me wrong. He's a little raw. He's he's going to need some work. This isn't a guy that I think is going to to be this like ridiculous. Oh my god! Like this is Dwight Howard in his prime. I don't think it's going to be like that. But I do believe this is a guy that can actually have an impact. A guy that can come in and provide just quality minutes when he's on the court. This was the number eight pick. This is a guy that many people believed had a lot of upside. Um, he shoots 75% within three feet. So this guy is basically like you get the, you get him the ball within three feet of the basket. It's an automatic bucket. That is huge. Young athletic can run the floor. This is a guy that I could see being a Laker for the next 10 plus years. This is the guy that I think, realistically, in two years could be the starting center next to Anthony Davis. Or if Anthony Davis ends up leaving, this is the this is one of the guys on the list of many other guys. The Lakers have such a young roster, such a talented roster. I mean, Jackson Hayes is just the cherry on top. Now, again, if I'm being honest, I would love Mason Plumley. I would love a veteran guy. So the Lakers have two vet minimum contracts. Jackson Hayes is going to be one, which means the Lakers have one more. If you can go and you can land Mason Plumley, the Lakers are the best team in the league, front to back. Front to back, best team in the league. Because now you have your recl you have your reclamation project, your young development center, and Jackson Hayes. And then you have that just bang down low, 
veteran-led type center. Like, if, if like, look, if it's Jackson Hayes and that's it, if it's Jackson Hayes and uh, Colin Castleton, who I'm very high on, if it's those two and Anthony Davis, I'm okay with that. Like, if that's the direction the Lakers end up going, totally okay with it. But I would like a veteran big. I would like a Mason Plumlee, even like a DeMarcus Cousins or something like that. Like somebody that doesn't, like, hey, you're going to play some minutes. Some nights you're going to play, some nights you're not. You know, like over the course of the 82-game season, Jackson Hayes is going to be the guy 99% of the time. But come playoffs for like a Denver matchup or something like that, we're going to need you. You're going to come in, you're going to play, you're going to actually play rotation minutes. We'll, we'll we'll find you minutes periodically, randomly throughout the course of the season. Cool, I'm with it. But if you can get a, a veteran-led type center, then I think the Lakers are grand slam, home run. I love this pickup. I genuinely love this pickup. This might be one of the big sleeper pickups. And again, I I'm not saying I don't think he's going to be a twenty and ten guy. I, I wouldn't be shocked if he's like six points, five rebounds or something like that. But I think his ability to be a lob threat, his ability to block shots, his ability to rebound, his this is this is the guy I wanted for the future. And the Lakers just got him. That is massive. I'm hyped. I hope you are as well. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question to you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? about the Lakers signing Jackson Hayes. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Somewhere in between. Have you feel whatever your thoughts are. I love to hear it. Let me